When it comes to Alzheimer's prevention, it's not about just one food. There's not a single food that's going to prevent Alzheimer's disease for you, but it's about the diet. It's about, you know, what you're eating day to day, how you're living day to day. But in terms of specific foods that um, are powerful uh, brain boosters, I mean, let's take avocados. I think it's funny that avocados are shaped like a bomb, if you think about it, because I consider avocados as being the perfect food to drop a bomb on inflammation and oxidative stress. They're also packed with really important carotenoids, uh, which are pigments. Um, in the case of avocado, it's lutein and zeaxanthin, which have been shown to actually boost processing speed in the brain and make your brain cells work more efficiently. Um, but the problem is, uh, those carotenoids need fat to be properly absorbed. Well, in an avocado, an avocado is loaded with healthy fat in the form of monounsaturated fat, oleic acid. It's rich in dietary fiber. It's packed with potassium. You know, researchers speculate that our hunter-gatherer ancestors ate four times the potassium uh, over the course of the day that we eat today because potassium is rich in fruits and vegetables and things like that. Well, an avocado has twice the potassium of a banana. So it's just an incredible all-in-one um, health food. My recommendation in Genius Foods is to eat uh, half to a whole avocado every single day. An avocado is not going to help you prevent Alzheimer's disease. If you're eating a whole avocado every day on top of a crappy diet, it's not going to move the needle for you in terms of Alzheimer's prevention. You know, I also want to be very uh, careful in terms of um, misleading people. You could still do everything right according to the book and still develop Alzheimer's disease. We don't know everything about the disease. Um, and, you know, there could still be a to-be-discovered genetic risk factor that, you know, it, that has a determinant effect. The most well-defined Alzheimer's risk gene that we know about is the APOE4 allele. And 97% of people that develop Alzheimer's disease develop it because of the interplay between that risk gene and the choices that they make in their lives. But there could be a, a to-be-determined gene that circumvents all of our best efforts. By doing everything right, we're helping stack the odds in our favor, okay? It's not a get-out-of-jail-free card. We, you know, there is still um, genes which weigh in on, you know, our health outcomes uh, to some degree, but for the most part, genes are not destiny. In terms of that insurance that we can sort of by today, um, as we await greater clarity in terms of research and nutrigenomics and pharmacogenomics, these are absolutely meaningful changes and foods that have a meaningful impact on your mental health, your brain health, and your risk for Alzheimer's disease.